Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I'm your host, Rudy Rodriguez Show. I have another rant for you. But before I jump in, thank you so much for everyone that jumped on live with us tonight with myself and Ben Daniel. It was great having everyone in the room, over 300 people in the room at one time, celebrating an Indiana Fever victory. However, it wasn't much of a celebration because we are frustrated with how they played tonight, today. It wasn't a thing of beauty. Hopefully they sharpen some tools up between now and Wednesday when they got to host the Las Vegas Aces because they played them twice this week, two big games. If they can win both of those games, they could actually put themselves in a position to get a four seed. <clears throat> it's it's a possibility, you know. If they're they're three and a half back with them right now, and if they win both, they'll be a game and a half. Changes some stuff. Anyhow, what are we talking about right now? We're talking about what you see across the screen. The Chicago Sky is better without Angel Reese. Angel Reese decided to quit her team yesterday. She decided that the season was done for her following her best game in two months. And now she is unable, incapable of playing basketball because she has a boo-boo on her wrist. Beyond the fact that she's wearing a wrist brace you can buy at Walgreens or CVS or Rite Aid or any random, you know, uh, pharmacy <laughs> or, you know, medical supply place, Walmart, Target, if there's a pharmacy you can buy a wrist brace. She wasn't in a, in a, in a cast, no air cast, so her wrist isn't broken. Her wrist doesn't have a torn ligament. She has a boo-boo. I saw a video where she landed on her wrist. But after I saw tonight, it's absolutely confirmed to me what I thought. That's a fake injury. <coughs> Excuse me. That is a fake injury. She is hurt. She is not injured. But... Why end the season shooting 30% from the field? Might as well wrap it up right now. If you ask me, this was strategically done by her and the Chicago Sky because they know how bad she is on offense. And she's been told she has to sit out. She's that bad on offense that she knows how she knows how bad she is on offense. She has a sore wrist, <clears throat> yet managed to hit a three with a sore wrist and all that stuff. And she's wearing a wrist brace you get from Walgreens, CVS. But what happened tonight? They beat the crap out of the Dallas Wings without Angel Reese. Isabel Harrison goes for 21 points, nine rebounds, two block, two assists, two steals, one block. 9 of 18 shooting provides something that the Sky have not had all year, which is a mid-range jump shot from their power forward. She's hitting shots from the elbow. She's hitting shots from the wing. She's, she's hitting shots everywhere. She has skills offensively that allow the Chicago Sky to play a much more open brand of basketball. They scored 92 points. They were humming. They were up 26 in the third quarter. They won by 15. But they blew the Dallas Wings out of the building. The same Dallas Wings that had a freaking street fight with the Indiana Fever last week. <clears throat> Chicago Sky, The Chicago Sky is a better team without Angel Reese. And they just showed that. And it's exactly what I thought was going to happen. You're less worried about dumping the ball into a scrub who's trying to pad up numbers and taking so many damn shots and missing so many damn shots and grabbing so many damn rebounds and all that stuff. Kennedy Carter goes for 28. The offense is running through Kennedy Carter. 
Camila Cardoso has double double, 10 points, 11 rebounds. You know what you didn't have a lot of? You didn't have a lot of rebounds because the Chicago Sky shot 50% from the field. It's pretty ironic that when you don't miss a lot, you don't have as many rebounds to grab. But Cardoso has a solid game, only takes nine shots herself, and also showed something late in the game in the fourth quarter that I thought was telling. She grabs a rebound, she turns back around, she kicks it back out to a teammate at the three-point line. She doesn't go back up and jack up a bad shot. She doesn't boom, 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 dribble the ball down and then throw one up to the right hand, throw one up to the left hand, throw one up to the middle hand. Miss, miss, miss. She didn't do any of that. She turns and kicks it back out. That is what is called smart IQ basketball. You're playing with a basketball IQ. Because at that moment in time, Chicago didn't need for her to go jack up a shot. Kick it back out. Let's start this over again. Izzy Harris provides an offensive threat that Angel Reese does not provide. Angel Reese might be a better rebounder than Harrison. She probably is. Big deal. Big deal. Cares. But if we're making, if we as the Chicago Sky are making shots, I don't need your offensive rebounds because balls are going in the basket. They played a loose, fun brand of basketball today. Without a doubt. I saw half the game. In that half, they were up and down the floor. It was actually good basketball to watch. And they didn't have to make a whole bunch of threes to do it. They did not. They dominated that game without Angel Reese, as I expected them to. I expect them to be better without her. It would not shock me if they went three and two down the stretch the final five games, tonight being game one. So they're one and oh. They still have to play the Lynx and the Sun, but it will be one telling ass story. If they go three and two, four and one, hell, five and oh, can you imagine if that happens? The Chicago Sky is a better team without Angel Reese. Without her knowing her role and understanding that your job is to kick the ball out, they're not as good when she's on the floor. Isabel Harrison provides an option that did not exist. Much better court spacing as well. And then, of course, Angel Reese is in a crop top. Her stomach's all out. I mean, hey, you're she. I mean, who 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 educates this young woman on how to dress for situations? Should 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 men basketball NBA players start coming up with you know tops that just go here and then we see all their stomach? on the sideline, what are we doing? Be a role model. I know that's hard to do, but as I expected, the Chicago Sky, they're better without Angel Reese. They showed you tonight, and they're going to show it again a few more times before the season's done, and people are going to have to sit back and say, shit, this strategic decision to sit out the last four games with this fake injury, it just blew up in our face. It just blew up in our face. Because you know they're going to come back right now and say, well, Kayla Clark's going to win the Rookie of the Year because Angel Reese didn't finish the season. Bullshit. Anyhow, that's all I got. I just thought I'd point it out. Chicago's better without her, and they're going to be better without her. We'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Come on now.